Hey, what's happening guys? As you can see, I am playing around with the ESP32 again. And, um, you know, one of the things that I mentioned in our introductory video is that all of the functions of the ESP32 are not yet available in the Arduino IDE. And one of those functions which we use quite a bit is the analog write, the PWM function, are just not there yet. But there is a way around it, and I want to show you that today. So I'm just doing a little experiment here. I'm using basically the Blink program, but I have taken out the delay. So that LED is actually blinking at a rate of 1 megahertz, which seems to be the standard frequency. So if we roll on up here, to the oscilloscope. Let me zoom out here a little bit. There you guys can see we are at 988 1 megahertz. It's hovering around the megahertz with a peak to peak that it seems to think is 28.8 volts, but it's not. It should be about 3 volts peak to peak. I don't know why we're getting that strange reading maybe i don't have my no my probes on one axis there. there we go now we've got our peak to peak set right at 2.9 volts and our frequency of one megahertz and again that is simply uh digital rate high digital rate low and i'm using pin i05 now there are 16 separate channels you can use for PWM on this on this chip. They have eight high speed and eight low speed. So we're gonna play around with one of them right now. Let's go over to the computer and take a look at how to get around the missing analog write. We are going to get around the missing analog write by using uh, this function right here, LEDC write, which is kind of the same thing. But it needs a little bit of setup. So up here we have three variables. Frequency, we're going to use 5000 hertz. LED channel, we're going to use channel 0, there are 0 through 15. And resolution 8, we have resolution of, uh, 0 through 15 there as well. So. 16 separate resolutions. Now in our setup, we need to say LED setup and then populate it with these arguments, channel, frequency, and resolution. So we have LED channel zero with a frequency of 5K and a resolution of eight. Now we need to attach a pin to that. So in this case, we're gonna use GPIO5 so we say LEDC attach pin number five to which LED channel? To LED channel zero, which we put up here. So now we have a simple loop to um, fade up and fade down our LEDs. So let's send this over to the ESP32 and take a look at it in action. You can see now we have our LED fading and very smoothly, I may add. It is fading up and fading down at a frequency of 5K with a peak to peak of 3.3 volts. And if we roll up on the oscilloscope, we can see that action right there. For those of you unfamiliar with PWM, it is pulse width modulation. We're simply changing the on time and the off time the frequency remains the same. All right, let's see if we can crank this up and how high we can get it to roll because it doesn't actually specify that. All right, we're back at 50K. No problem whatsoever. Everything is still copacetic. Let's try a higher frequency. Code is uploading at 100K. Hard reset. 
Now you don't see, well, I guess you can see it fading pretty good there, huh? And there we have 100K fading on and off very nicely. Shall we crank it up again? Okay. Well, friends, we have reached the limit. I put in 500K. You can see it's working, but it is only working at 312K. So for channel zero, 312K is the limit. Let's take it way down. Well, there we are at 100 hertz. So that's a pretty good frequency. I'm sure we can go even slower. That gives us a great range. I mean, up to 312. So we will do some more experiments later on having multiple PWMs on multiple channels at different frequencies. But for now, we know how to use the LEDC write command to take the place of the missing analog write command. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed playing around with these little boards. It's a lot of fun. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.